my name is Aileen Calderon. Um, I'm an ATG augmentation specialist. Um, the section will be recorded and will be available in our page later in case you missed something. So today's webinar is about Enscape and how we can make it real. Um, so as you know, we live in a world where virtual and augmented reality are becoming common terms. The AEC client expect to, be, to have better quality in presentations and rendering during the design process. I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, find yourself doing last minute changes, waiting for the render to be ready and redoing a presentation for your client that just wanted to move uh, some furniture or change some wall color. So that's where Enscape make it so easy. They develop a system that combines the characteristics of uh, to create living experiences and unforgettable for your clients. It gives it gives you a new way to collaborate with them through the design process. So today's goal is to explore how can Enscape fit right into your daily workflows. And we will uh, cover these topics. Uh, we will talk about um, the overview of Enscape new features, some basic rules of composition to improve our renders, including background, textures, bomb maps and others. Um, we will also be showing the effect of the IS lights for a more natural render and, and using also the Enscape asset library to give a more realistic look to our renders. So let's go to the to our demo. Um, I'm using Revit 2020 um, and just a sample project with a few changes uh, for the webinar purpose. Um, as I say, one, one of the things I wanted to start with is, um, is the Enscape new features. Recently, they launched a 2.6 version, and they got some exciting things in this, in this new version. I would say one of the biggest one, um, or my favorite one, is that uh, they, they separate the visual and general settings, which allow, allow us to save a preset visual setting for your renders. Let's say here you want to create a, um, a specific style or a way of showing your project. You can just save it and whatever name you want to and just reload it in different computers and you will have the same setting in different machines. That would save you a lot of time. Of course, they increase uh, their library to over 700 assets and they work in the, um, in the sun shadows for renders. So these are some of the new features you can find in the newest uh, version. Um, let's talk with, uh, about our composition. Let's talk about how we can improve our render. And I would like to start with backgrounds um, because they are so important for your renders uh, that you can show how your project will look in a specific environment. Um, we can change that here in, in our settings in the tab of atmosphere, well actually visual setting and atmosphere tab. Uh, let's say you have this house in, you know, in the middle of the, just let me show you here, sorry. Uh, let's say you have this house in the middle of the forest here. You can change it. Give you more light. Okay. So you can change it here in the horizon, just, just fine. Or let's say you got to have your project in the town. You can also change it here. Enscape has a few other versions. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and also have this one called Skybox. Skybox allows you to just upload whatever whatever background you want to add. I downloaded this previous, previously from hdraheaven.com. I can give you guys the link later. They have a pretty good um, selections of drawing of backgrounds that you can use for your render. So there you go, you can, you can see how like it changed Im immediately and you have it from different perspectives. It's, it's pretty good and time saving. 
to load this up here. So one of the advantage of this is that it will always remain and will be visible in different perspective and will save time in the render process. Also in this tab, you can control the look of your you can control the look of your render. You can make the sun a little bit more bright. You can put fog if you want to. Um, even if you want to show the at night, you can control the moon size or you can control the nice sky brightness. Let me show you. This is pretty cool. Um, if you guys go outside, I think here, you can see it. You can see that. You can even see the moon's eyes if you want to. Uh, you can see the stars there. Anyway, so in this tab, you can work a lot about the environment and how you can work your um, atmosphere of your project. The other topic we, we were or we wanted to discuss today, it was about the materials and textures and how, how can you implement it in your, in your render. So if you're using Revit 2020 or not, with Enscape you can get very similar results, uh, but it's always important to use high quality texture. Like, let's check this wood floor. It looks pretty real. And if you compare here with this precast, which is an old material from Revit, no bomb maps, you can see the difference. You can really see the difference of the material, which um, take me to the next point that I wanted to tell you guys is that in Revit, we have a good selection of textures already in the Autodesk share folder for materials on your C drive. I think I have it here here on our chat, I'm gonna send you guys um, where you can find it. I don't know where is my chat, but I'll, I'll send you guys where, where this is in uh, common files from Autodesk, share materials, textures. I'll send you the link in a bit. Um, so as you guys know, when we're working with materials, using the bomb maps can make a big difference in the quality of the render. I use one of the newest materials, as I told you before here for the floor, and compared to the old one, you see the different, the diff big difference of the material. And this is what bomb maps can help us to create, uh, to give a more realistic feeling of the material. Um, and with the new updates, you have more flexibility to work with your bomb maps inside of Revit. If you guys want to know more about it, I will definitely recommend you checking in our website. We have a Josh Radel. He has he has a webinar about PBR materials where he explained a lot of about this in more depth. So the other thing I wanted to highlight, um, I will say is that you know reality is not always perfection. So with Enscape, we can get that too. Uh, in this in, in the image tab, we can work on, with that, and we can just get a perspective or a view that we want to highlight. We want to highlight of, of your project, and just work with the shadows, with the shadows, um, just saturation, and we got different thing. Even like we can work with the, I guess, this vignette is something kind of nice if you if you really want to highlight an element and a specific element in your project. Um, so with all, with this tab, you can work and as I said at the beginning, save it and keep it for future projects, which take me to the next point of this webinar, that is lights. As you guys know, it, lighting is really essential in a render. That's why it's so easy to identify mistakes. With Revit and Enscape working together, we can show the actual effects of natural life in our project. Setting your location in Revit is essential to show the actual conditions of the environment where your project will be placed. Um, and with Enscape, we can not only show how, like, you know, the natural life with effect to your room, or your space, we can also 
work with or we can also work for the energy analysis by changing these settings with the live view. With this option, you can identify the warmer, uh, the warmer or colder spaces in your in your area in your project. Just making, just changing here in your rendering tab and the style mode to live view you can see which are the warmers or colder places in your, in your make a change if it's necessary. Um, the chance of showing this thing um, in real time is so useful because architects can show the effects of the light that it has in the design itself. And like here, okay, so Sorry. So I, I previously updated the model to show you guys some ES light. Um, here, you got it. Let me show you. Let's go to our level one. Oops. No. So here we can show you at night. How can you see your new lights? At, um, we have, well, And how we can, I guess it, this is one of the biggest thing about Enscape is that, as I say before, we can show our clients on real time what we're doing, the changes that we want to do. Like, let's say in this one, we want to, you know, show how we can move this furniture to the other side. You will see it right there. And even if you want to add, um, some people to make your 3D look a little bit more realistic. We can also do it here. Just bear with me a little bit because this new library is it's really big. So it takes some time to load. Oops. Let me try again. I don't know. We had some. We test this a couple of times, and for some reason, it's not working again. Um, let me see if this guy will work. I'm getting the same error. I'm so sorry about. Oh, there you go. They're all there. Not in the same spot. That, not the spot that I would like it to be with. Well, these things can happen. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so my people here is. Let's see if that work. Probably should. First time doing a webinar and I'm getting this. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I did kind of test it before. And so anyway, for that not to happen, just make sure whenever you're uploading a new. Okay, there you go. She's there. Okay. Cool. So, so this is one of the things that, um, as I was saying, Enscape has. You can definitely do some changes on real time and adding people or adding furnitures or different type of um, elements to your project to just make it look a little bit more real. So just make sure this is one of um, the new things in, in Enscape right now, you can just place it a set on surface. So what I just did before doesn't happen to you. Um, there you go. So, so just to recap a little bit, um, as I say, for me, one of the biggest advantage of Enscape is that allows me that 
to show the client and see the project in real time. It helps a lot to visualize and make changes in the design project. And which at the end, it saves a lot of time and headaches too. So if you guys have any questions, you can use the chat or you just can send me an email uh, and I will be happy to help you guys. Um, and that's, that's kind of what it is. I, here we go. I have, I'm going to send through our chat um, uh, the location of the files where you can find the texture for Rabbit. I hope you guys can see it. Um, and I guess if you guys have any question. Let me know. Um, I guess if not, then I will just continue to finish. Feel free to send me an email if you have any questions about this webinar today. Thank you so much. And Okay, I got a question here. Is the set library always being added to every year? Okay. Yeah, I guess they're working they were always working in updating the, the software itself. And just recently with the 2.6 version, they, they improved that um, or they increased to seven, uh, over 700 assets. Um, the next question from Kyle is, can you save a camera angle when you close Enscape? You do can save uh, whenever you're doing your perspective here and it's actually more into the visual settings so if you go here as I was oh, let me you with your with that new feature what you can do is that any settings that you have here in your visual settings you can save it as a preset and then load it up uh, again to a different um, in the different computer or even a different project um, for you Kyle and then I got another question how does Enscape determine uh, true, the true north I have issues with sound angle not matching with my model um, well for my knowledge, I think you need to set up all this in your Revit first. And then since Enscape and Revit work together, they will, they will automatically identify that. But if not, um, I can double check with you. Uh, with, I can double check um, Adam and I, will, I can send you an email back because uh, I'm, I'm really not sure about it. But that's, that's what I can say about that. Uh, but just send me in or give me your email address. I will, I will find out and I will get back to you, Adam. The other question. Um, yes, yes. As DJ says, it's here in the preset. You can save it there and then use it. Um, and as Josh say, yeah, the true north. He confirmed what I was saying is determined by the rabbit model. So yes, that's that's today webinar. I, I just wanted to give a highlight of like how can Enscape can help you in your workflows. So I guess if there is no more questions. Yes, I send you guys a link. Let me copy again. Here's where you can find it in your program files, those are for Revit. So you can find the different textures there that will help you. It's in the chat, by the way. Um, so I guess that's, that's all for today. And if there's any other question that you guys have, if not, as I say, you can always send me an email and I will be happy to help you guys. Thank you so much.